I still think back to the first time I came on campus and saw the rink and saw the school and it just blew me away right away. Every time I step on the ice and hear them chanting RIT, I feel like it's my first time stepping on the ice. I still get chills. Playing games here is unbelievable. The fans that we get, the way we're treated, it exceeded my expectations by far. I've loved it. Best four years of my life so far. Good puck management, getting pucks out, getting pucks in, good focus, energy, and execute tonight. Let's go. It's a program steeped in tradition. Now RIT Hockey is ready to make new history. The hunger for a national title remains strong. The playoff championship is, I think, what it's all about because you win the playoffs, you end up going to the NCAA. So that's, you know, something that uh, is always on our radar. Keep working here now, White! In 2020, the Tigers won 19 games and were 14th in the nation in goal scoring. And they were looking to once again capture the Atlantic Hockey Playoff title. Three players earned all conference honors. The Tigers have won a combined seven regular season and playoff conference titles. They've reached the Frozen Four and Elite Eight in three NCAA Division I tournament appearances. All the trophies, championships they won. Every time you step on the ice, you, you think of that. That's always in your mind, every game, every battle. You, you want to keep the winning culture, the championships alive. Everybody is here for you and they're doing the best. They want, you, they want the best for you and they want you to succeed. RIT remains a cornerstone of Atlantic hockey, a conference that takes the Tigers to Boston, Pittsburgh, and Colorado Springs. They also play a demanding non-conference schedule against the nation's top teams. RIT's home is the on-campus 4,000-seat Gene Policini Center. Can you this? Watch it spell. I can't hear you. With great support and tremendous facilities, it's one of the best rinks in college hockey. Definitely no team in the Atlantic has a rink like this, and you know, probably a select few in the NCAA have a rink like this. And the corner crew and the band. It's something that I've tried to relish this year and just enjoy every time we do get those wins. The Tigers play their homecoming game at Rochester's Blue Cross Arena, a game that sells out every year. Notre Dame will be the opponent in the fall of 2020. It was my first experience my freshman year to play in front of that many people. Um, the Sea of Orange too, they give t-shirts out to everyone, so it's amazing. Playing in front of thousands and thousands of people, it's, it's an unbelievable experience. The Sea of Orange, I love it. Wait for them to give it to the point and then you can take off. RIT has one of college hockey's most experienced coaching staffs. Led by 2010 National Coach of the Year, Wayne Wilson, along with associate Brian Hills hurt, hurt. and assistant Dave Insolaco. This guy can shoot, he can pass, he can hit the wide guy. I've been very fortunate to have the staff that I have. Uh, you know, Brian and Dave have been with me for so long and uh, I do just a great job. But I take uh, a lot of pride in myself just watching uh, the guys, when you win a championship, lifting the trophy over their head and knowing that, uh, uh, that uh, it's, it's a, a great accomplishment. Most RIT players move on to pro hockey. Former Tiger Chris Tanev has been in the NHL since 2010. I think that speaks to the quality of the program. Is, you know, guys are, especially last year, Brownie and Gertie, and they had the opportunity to move on. And, you know, guys before that as well always have the opportunity to move on and play professional hockey after here. And I think that just speaks to the volumes of how this program sets up players to, to move on and play professionally. Located in Greater Rochester, New York, RIT is an internationally renowned institution with nine leading colleges offering a wide range of majors. 23 members of the hockey team earned all academic conference honors in 2019. I've learned so much and I think it's highly regarded as getting an RIT degree is highly regarded so I'm, I'm looking forward to my future. Having the opportunity to, to stay here and do my graduate level um, degree was a no-brainer for me. You know, finish my last year and um, get an MBA at the same time. I don't think many guys can say that they spent four years at a program and two degrees. So I think that's something special. Let's go win on three. One, two, three, win! From the ice to the classroom, the RIT Tiger, a memorable experience that will 
last a lifetime. Unbelievable experience. I wouldn't change a thing. The memories that we've all made and that they'll last forever.